stand by. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sarah, did President Trump direct anyone in, in his uh, campaign to reach out to Roger Stone to have him contact with you? Uh, look, I'm, I'm not an attorney. I haven't read that document. I'm not going to get into things I don't know. What I do know um, is that this has nothing to do with the president, has nothing to do with the White House. Um, and beyond that, I'm not going to get into Have the, you spoken back to the president forth. about Roger Stone? Uh, I've spoken with the president a number of times. Today, today, have you spoken, have spoken since this indictment? I have down? spoken with the president. I think the biggest takeaway that we have is, is what I just said. Um, this doesn't have anything to do with the president, doesn't have anything to do um, with the White House. One, one question that I would be interested to see is um, if these same standards apply. The charges that have been brought are about false testimony. If those same standards will be applied uh, to people who we know have given false testimony in the same matter, like uh, Comey and Clapper and Clinton uh, and others that are in a similar position, I'd be interested to see how that plays no, out. No, my question. Sorry, was, go ahead. I'm sorry. Was the president encouraging, if you will, false statements, obstruction, things that are charged in the uh, indictment? Look, uh, that is probably one of the more ridiculous and insulting questions to accuse the president of the United States of asking someone to break the law. Um, that is, frankly, it's just insulting. It's just not true. On the shutdown, for the many Americans all across the country who could care less about the politics of it all, what would you tell them about what happens from here? What is the White House's plan? How does this end? What happens from here is um, we have to protect our border. Uh, the president is committed to ending the national security and humanitarian crisis at the border. And um, we hope, as we have uh, since day one of this process, that Democrats would actually work with us, quit being obstructionists, quit just saying no, sit down at the table, let's negotiate, let's come to an agreement, and let's get a deal that actually helps the federal workers and helps all Americans by protecting our border. What is the objective and strategy of the administration going forward after you acknowledge Juan Guaido in Venezuela? Uh, look, we are supporting the National Assembly. Uh, we'd like to see some uh, sense of order in Venezuela, and we'll see how things play out. We're thankful for the other countries that have uh, followed our lead and joined us in supporting the National Assembly. Thanks, Thanks,